Aries, this is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tower reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. So let's see what God, angels, and universe has for you. <sighs> what do we have for Aries, God? Give them something good. Give them something to smile about. Mm. Well... Okay, perhaps this is where you've been, Aries. Let's see where you're headed. I'm hearing mentally drained, emotionally disconnected, resistant to change, stuck in your head. Well, I see. <laughs> of course, you're stuck in your head because you're mentally drained. But I also feel like you go in MIA, missing in action, as in not really communicating with a lot. Um, angels are saying you're looking for a deeper meaning to receive clarity. Aries, your readings are some of the easiest readings for me. Your energy is just so crystal clear. Well, there we go. The universe showed up. All right, so yeah, it looks like this may be your past and this may be where you guys are currently and present, presently. <clears throat> You've been thinking about some things. You've been thinking about, say, for instance, your life, what it is that you want to do, relationships, who you are. Angels are saying for some of you guys, you could have had your deep spiritual, a deep spiritual awakening. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're you're trying to clear self-deprecating thoughts, things that cut, kind of those thoughts that hold you back, those thoughts that get you down. Some of you guys could be really critical uh, on yourselves, you know, really hard on yourselves. But it kind of it kind of feels like at least for right now, your mind is beating you up, or your mind is taking a beating. What is that? A deer? See the little deer? I <laughs> just noticed that. And it's, wow. That's so weird because, I, you know, now that I see that or now that that kind of jumped out at me, I do kind of feel like, yeah, somebody's waiting for your recovery. Somebody's waiting for you to recover. I feel like also, too, this hierophant, this advisor, somebody who's really, really wise and really smart, really worldly, whomever this is, it's almost like they're, it could be a father figure, a parent, an uncle or somebody like that. Because I feel like this person to an extent is like watching you go through this and they're just waiting patiently, standing by, waiting for you to maybe lift your hand up, to ask for help, to ask for guidance. Interesting. You got the four of cups and the three of cups. Um, you know what's crazy is I just heard going out, partying, drinking, hanging out with your friends, hanging out with your family to kill some time. It's, it, I, I hear if I can't be with the one I love, let me be with the ones who love me. What I'm also hearing too is that people might have been reaching out to you. Hey, you want to hang out? You want to hang out? Aries like, no, nah, I'm good. No, nah, I'm good. And there's the resistance, right? There's the resistance. There's the um, struggle. I'm hearing that wh whomever this person is, this romantic person, person who's equally yoked, you're not budging, right? You're not budging. Um, whether you gave an ultimatum, you put your foot down, you set a boundary, whatever it is, you're not budging, Aries. It's crazy, too, because I don't really like this energy that you're in, right? Like, if you're a sitting toad, as in you're not moving, you're not getting around too much, you're not talking to a lot of people. Now, by the way, I'm not saying that, like, you're depressed or, you know... A recluse, don't feel like being pop. That's not who you are. That's not your energy, right? 
Aries, believe it or not, you guys are jovial. People flock to you. So when you remove yourself from society, from people, from family, from friends, from whomever, it's like the world goes lopsided, right? So I don't like the fact that, say, for instance, Aries, you are kind of, quote unquote, pulling yourself off of the table. Now, we know you're doing it for your person, but it's like the rest of us are suffering too. It's like, why we got to suffer just because Jeanette and Jeanette and Donna are not doing well? You know what I mean? Like, and there it is, right? There it is. Angel said to me, you're going to have your aha moment, right? That, that inspirational moment, that eureka moment, whatever it is, the clarity here that I mentioned earlier, I feel like you're going to get exactly what you want. Not only that, but you're going to get more than enough information. And remember here, we have the Hierophant as that kind of like that guide. Now, this could come from a mother or motherly figure uh, in your life, Aries. I feel like you may confide in your mom or uh, an elder female. Doesn't necessarily have to be a female. Could be a male as well. But I feel like you you may have a deep and moving conversation with somebody you really, really, really trust. And again, this person does feel like um, you can relate to them as in relative, as in mother figure. Could be a grandmother, auntie, godmother, you know, co-worker who's older than you, really wise you know, very nurturing, very caring. Um, and yeah, there are deep, there are, boy, this is like subconscious times 25, right? You have the high priestess here, which is cancer. And then you also have the moon, which is the craziest thing on the planet because the moon, cancer rules the moon and um, Pisces are probably the most psychic sign next to Scorpio, right? But this is Pisces and this is Cancer. Odd. But anyway, um, I feel like you're diving deep into your emotions to try to figure out and uncover some fears. You know, trying to go within, trying to go deep within, by the way. Um, and again, it just kind of feels like, Aries, you are seeking knowledge from every and anybody that you can get your hands on. Because for you, Aries, to be in this particular position... That's like a, a duck, you know, in the desert. It, it You don't, again, Aries, y'all are hard, right? Y'all are tough, right? Y'all are that Aries ram. You're very hard-headed. You're very strong. You're very arrogant. You're passionate. You're eager to, you're all of those things. And I don't mean them in a bad way. I mean, you have this strength about you. And for you to an extent to be kind of quote unquote down and out, no, no, no Aries. The rest of us don't accept that. But I feel like, again, you guys are working on it. You guys are working on it. You are so going within and you're trying to peel back a couple of those layers and unleash a couple of fears, maybe things that you've been lying to yourself about, about your relationships, maybe about what it is that you want maybe whether or not you're in alignment. And I really do feel like you are opening up or are open to universal guidance. And as I just said, universal guidance, I just know, I just looked at how many major arcanas are on the table. So there are a number of major arcanas here on the table, Aries. Um, you have temperance here and also clarity. Uh, I do feel like you guys are going to get clarity in at the right time, right? This is divine timing times 100. Um, God, what I'm also hearing too is ask God, ask angels, ask the universe to help and assist you with whatever it is that you need assistance with. So if you're like, hey, I don't know why I keep choosing the bad, the same bad person or the same type of person, ask God, angels in the universe, and they will bring that answer to you. Not only that, but I also kind of feel like not only are they going to give you your answer, but they're also going to give you advice on how to stop that, right? And how to stop that is to go within and clear away, you know, maybe some negative debris that's sitting in your energy field. 
Okay, let's see what Moonology has for you. The signs we have on the table are Taurus. We have Taurus and Libra. We have Virgo. As I've mentioned, the moon card is Pisces and the high priestess is Cancer. And then we also have Sagittarius here. So you have a nice mixture of um, signs on the table. I just noticed that you don't have a pentacle on the table. And that makes sense to me because, again, I, I, I don't feel like you guys are exerting a lot of energy. I don't feel like you're necessarily open to new opportunities, especially related to love. I kind of feel like, again, Aries, you're just kind of, you know, a little incognito right now. And you're trying to figure some things out. And Aries, at the end of the day, I applaud you and I appreciate you for going deep and going within. And there's, there's not, there are no kings or queens on the table. There are no couples. Yeah. I know the high priest, excuse me, the empress is here. And we also have the high priestess and the hierophant, right? But it's not like I have the high priestess and the magician. The hierophant to me, um, could he could pair up also with the high priestess as well. And of course, the emperor, empress's mate is the emperor, which is not here on the table. You do have the two of cups, but I feel like all of this activity is related to and trying to get to the bottom of why you have such difficulties in your relationships. Moonology, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in cancer. <clears throat> I don't know if that was a concern since you are MIA, but I guess that's the universe's way of saying to you, Aries, it's okay for you to take this time. We, we got them. Everybody's good. Do what you need to do. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. Here's cancer again. Cancer rules, uh, excuse me, cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon controls our emotions. The moon controls the tide. You know, our bodies are made up of X amount of water. The moon controls the water. and The moon is moodiness. Moon is emotion. So, yeah, I, I feel like, Aries, you're getting deep, deep, deep into your emotional body to try to figure some stuff out. Surrender to the divine full moon. Got a lot of moon cards coming up in this moon, moonology. You got two cancer cards and you got the moon here. So, yeah, it does kind of feel like, Aries, you are... The reason now I understand that you are MIA is because you're in your emotional body, right? And I think for you, Aries, because of who you are, there could be a high level of discomfort when it comes to your emotions and emotional body. So for you, maybe the standard things to do, yes, is to pull back so you can be emotional, deal with your emotional things. Then when you have those dealt with, then you can re-engage and come back into the world. Well, I'm happy to know that, Aries, because we need you, okay? Life is not life without Aries. Y'all are the first of the Zodiac. Come on, you know who you are. But again, we appreciate, we know what you got going on, Aries. We'll see you back out there. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are below. I love you, Aries. Bye.